So Becca had an idea and I said yes. Hi, I'm Amy and I make things. Today I'm making my contribution to the Traveling Quilt Creator collaboration. Come on, I'll show you. In December, Becca had a fun idea to bring together several YouTube creators for one epic collaboration. It was a great chance to work with other quilters, everybody's linked below, who have differing styles, so I jumped in and I said yes. After some conversation, we decided on a row-by-row row quilt, and you can get the details of the entire project in Becca's intro video, which I will link in the cards. I knew exactly what I wanted to do as soon as we nailed down the details, so I jumped on the May 1st date so the timing would be just right. While the final designs morphed and changed over the months, the singular idea remained. And that idea? Blue bonnets. We moved to Texas three years ago and have since learned that Central Texas really puts on the dog during the springtime. I have fallen in love with blue bonnets and wildflowers in a way that I really never expected. It's really hard not to. They are everywhere and in a good year as this one was, it is truly spectacular to be driving down the road and look across at acres and acres of waving purple blue fields. And like the Texagon, we'll plaster that image on darn near anything. Once I finalized my plan, I made mock-up pictures using sketches and markers and EQ8. And I wanted to combine my style that blends the modern and the traditional all with the scrappy spirit to evoke the idea and vibe of blue bonnets. I also wanted to play with watercolor and hand stitching, all the things that I love to do. So that's exactly what I did. And here is three days of solid work compressed into about six minutes of video. Y'all, I use starch. Serious. Toby helped me choose the music, so enjoy the process videos and hang around to see the result.
I had so much fun and my blocks are collaboration within collaboration which you know seems fitting considering the project. I incorporated a diamond string block like this one with my signature red and white polka dot. My favorite half square triangle block which is the scraps from this project and from my sweet ladies and my quilting bee. Guys, I put out a request for Blue Bonnet fabric scraps, and they literally had me covered. A while back in one of my orders, Fallon from So Be It Quilts included her new diamond block trim locks for me to give a try, and I knew they would be perfect for this idea. And I love how this block came together. When we were in Dallas at the quilt show, I saw this hand-painted panel. I couldn't get it out of my mind. It gripped my heart and I could not get rid of the idea. I learned a watercolor technique from Linda Poole many years ago and I used my memory of it to watercolor with the ink tense pencils and textile medium. I'll link her book below. Again, I had so much fun and that's really the point of all of this, isn't it? When all of the blocks were finished, I needed a small filler piece to meet the size requirements. Since I already had my light box panel out, I used it to trace my word and then hand embroidered blue bonnets. I absolutely love how my row turned out. The only thing I don't like is that I don't get to keep it. But even that is okay because I love working with others and building a community project. I, uh, I'll be a good girl and I'll send my row to the coordinator, but not before I show it off at my guild meetings over the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much to Becca for putting it all together and for all the people who are helping, all the wonderful artists who are playing along, and all the people who made this collaboration possible. Don't forget to check out their videos and channels that are all linked below, and don't forget that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy, and I'll see you next time.